Hi guys and welcome back for another video reenactment of one of the scenes from Cars movie. This scene here is going to be about how Lightning ended up getting stranded in Red Eater Springs. At the end of the race, Lightning blew two tires because he was too cocky to get his tires changed. So at the very end, he blew two tires and he stuck his tongue out just to get across the finish line and it was a dead heat. The three of the cars would have a race, a final race, in California. So Lightning had to get to California ASAP as soon as possible. When Lightning told Mac that he had to make it to California without stopping, Mac was there, geez boss, I don't know if I can make it or not, I have to rest, I have to rest. And Lightning said, no, no rest, we have to go, we have to make it there, we have to get to California before anybody else so we can practice. So Lightning told Mac it was time to go, so Indy went in the back of the truck for the long drive to California. And then they closed the door. And then off they went down the highway. As it was getting darker out, Mac was getting more tired and tired and he couldn't help notice that all the other trucks were sleeping at the, at the truck stop. And Mac just had to keep going on going. Mac was so tired, he was weaving all over the road. And his eyes were closing. Next thing you know, DJ, Wingo, Boost, and Snot Rod were out driving around on the highway and they saw Mac and his eyes were drooping and one guy says, I think we got ourselves a nodder. So they started playing with him, they started pushing him back and forth on the side of the road. I'll show you. They were pushing Mac back and forth, causing him to weave back and forth as he went down the highway. Like this. And then DJ got in front of him, started playing some soft, soft music. And Mac was like, oh boy. And he hit some rumble strips on the side of the road. And his truck shook. And inside the truck, I won't believe what happened. He didn't know. What he didn't know inside the truck was that lightning came out of his locks and moved ahead to the back of the truck. Very near the back of the door, which was closed, of course. Because he had no way of knowing inside that lightning was not attached to anything anymore. And then, you wouldn't believe what happened just now. Four cars that were taunting Mac decided to take off in a hurry and then Boost sneezed like he went Rrr! and when he sneezed he really gave Mac a jolt and Mac's back door opened up so Mac is driving on the highway he has no idea that lightning his door is open and lightning's asleep and he could follow at any time next thing you know he hits a bump Lightning slides out the back of the truck and ends up on the highway. Finally, Lightning wakes up. He's in the middle of the road and cars are coming at him from all directions. He doesn't know what to do. And he swerves off the road, get out of the way. And he looks for Mac. Mac, Mac, where are you? He looks around all over the place. And Lightning can't see because he has no headlights. All he has is stickers for headlights because race cars don't have lights. Otherwise, if they ever got an accident, they smash everything up in the road. So Lightning is blind. He's out there going, Mac, Mac. And he sees the truck way in the distance. So Lightning starts chasing his truck in the distance. Mac, Mac, wait for me, Mac. He can't see him because it's too dark. And this truck here took an exit, went off on the other, another exit. And Lightning followed him into the exit with no lights and as dark as anything. So Lightning's continuing chasing this truck he thinks is Mac down the off ramp. And there's a set of train tracks. And Lightning's getting closer, but the train is coming too. And the train is blowing his horn. Don't go, don't go. So Lightning is closer and closer. And closer, and oh, we just made it past the train track and continues chasing after the truck he thinks is Mac. So Lightning finally catches up with the truck at the stoplight and he goes, Mac, where are you going? And the truck driver goes, Mac, I'm not Mac, I'm a Peterbilt, you fool. He tears off in the other direction and leaves Lightning sitting there. So it's still really dark. And Lightning doesn't know what to do, so he takes off down the highway on an old narrow road. Doesn't know where he's going. It's pitch dark and he's lost. And he goes off farther and farther down the highway. And that is how Lightning ends up getting lost in Radiator Springs. So next chapter we'll probably show what happens when he gets into Radiator Springs in the middle of the night being chased by Sheriff. Welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be doing a rundown of all our haulers. Now we have a lot more than the last time so we're going to start at the very first one we ever had 
which is Mac. Now this is Mac and his holler. Let's see what's inside his uh, trailer. Now he takes Lightning McQueen everywhere he goes. Okay, here it goes. I got it partially open now. Inside Mac's trailer we see a big screen TV and Lightning actually sits in here and plays video games in that slot. And back here he can turn back and forth with this wheel and he can go over here for a car wash and this is where he gets lube done and he also gets his vehicle worked on here anyway that is inside Mac's trailer now I'm gonna take it to the other trailer we have of Mac check this guy out he's the multiple vehicle hauler this trailer can hold six cars we happen to have six Lightning McQueens on there Let's take them all out and see what they are. The most famous one of the lightnings, of course, is Tongue McQueen. The very first scene in the movie. See his tongue? And this next one is, we call him Burnt Out Lightning. He's not a real Pixar car car that you can buy. We found him at a dump and we took him home and saved him. He was all burnt up in a fire. And we used him in some of our videos too. Look at him. Pretty sad, eh? And this, of course, is Cone McQueen. This is what happened when he ran through Radiator Springs. He got a cone stuck on his engine hood. And then, of course, there's Piston Cup Lightning McQueen. He's got the Piston Cup on his engine hood. See? And then, of course, we have Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen. Remember, he got the white walls and the new paint job by Ramon. He looked really different. Sally liked him. Then, of course, the last one is... I think that's Cactus McQueen. I'm not sure if that's what they call him or not. All those cars fit right in the holler. Just like this. Now our next holler is one we got from Cars 2. This is the famous holler from Francesco Bernoulli. Let's have a look at that guy. So he's got the all-in-all -all sponsor on the side. I think it says Francesco right there. Good, now let's take the back off and show you what's inside this trailer. Inside is Francesco. And there's a button right here. If I push that button, I think Francesco will shoot right out. Yes, no, I was right. Let's see, there's a ramp there. And this actually goes up. If you had the other Francesco, the one that you spin his wheels and he goes in circles, you can put him in here and watch. He shoots out and does tricks. Anyway, that's Francesco's holler. Let's put that back. And now we're going to bring out Chick Hicks' holler. There's the famous Chick Hicks and Chick Hicks' holler. Now watch how this trailer works. This side opens up. And the other side opens up. And you slide out the inside right here. And you close this door. Kicks and go up here, park his car, close the door, and then haul him away. This here is the King's Holler, Dynaco King. And now you'll notice this is the exact same as Chick Hicks Holler. Side opens up, and King can fit in here, and they can take him on the road. Now I say there's more because there's also another holler. And this is either for Lightning McQueen when he was dreaming of Dynaco, and Chick Hicks when Lightning McQueen was dreaming, Chick Hicks was Dynaco Chick Hicks. And they had to make an extra one just for them. So we have a blue Chick Hicks, Dynaco Chick Hicks, and a blue Lightning McQueen. And they also would fit in a hall the exact same way. The side opens up, and they can go in there for storage or transport. I don't think he belongs on the, on the roof. Okay, our next one is Octane Gang Holler. And he's a nice yellow color. Here's Octane Gang. And he fits right in the side, the same as the rest. They have a little toolbox in there. Place to sit, or sleep, I should say. If you go on the road. And the last holler we picked up is just Motor Max Racing Team Holler. This is the newest addition to our team. And inside the Motor Max, there's two race cars. These look very similar to Francesca. And this is a really nice trailer. Fits in well with the rest. And we really like it a lot. 
So there you have it guys, another new selection of haulers from Pixar Cars. They're all lined up and ready to go. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day, I appreciate it. Please give a thumbs up and leave us a comment and please share the video with your friends.